Okay, we're going to try this again with my POS hand-me-down video camcorder thingy here that uh, just ate the tape a few minutes ago. This is my home-built post driver, and it's just a falling anvil style. The anvil out here is about six pieces of concentric pipe. Uh, the gap, the void in there is filled with play sand and a few bits of odds and ends of steel that I could get to fit down in there. I estimate it weighs about 350 to 400 pounds on quarter-inch steel rope going up to a series of pulleys carrying the load back over and then ending at the top of my hydraulic cylinder. I've uh, quadrupled the line. It gives me about four times the ram speed or the hydraulic cylinder speed at the head. I can actually drive this thing fast enough to drive pipe into the ground. I have successfully driven 12 foot lengths of pipe uh, three feet into the ground, two and seven eighths inch pipe, approximately 250 wall. Uh, I think that's schedule 40 or something like that. Anyway, uh, like I said, this uh, homemade, it uh, doesn't look like much, but it works very well and beats the heck out of augering holes and mixing bags of concrete. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire the tractor up, operate it for a moment uh, just to show that it does move up and down, how it moves up and down and so forth. And then I'm going to stop the video and get a piece of pipe into place and I'll start it back up on a tripod and actually video driving a piece of pipe into the ground. So let me get the tractor started here as soon as I get the key put back into it. And uh... Alrighty. And it is adjustable, of course, front to back with the loader cylinders, and then it is adjustable left to right with this adjustable top link, which I have here. And it makes it very easy to tilt it left and right so that if the ground is unlevel, it's easy to get the pipe still driven vertically. All right, and basically, that's it. And I'm going to have to rev that engine up to get enough pressure to do this. And, oh, now I'm going to figure out what the heck's going on here. Ah, oh, there we go. I've got everything set up, got the pipe laying there, there's a white mark on it indicating three feet. It's sitting on top of the ground over one of these wooden stakes. I'm going to walk over there and begin to operate this thing. It's a bit tricky for one person, but it's what I got.
less time than augering holes and mixing bags of concrete. This is a good time to improve.